Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop on this New Year's Eve episode How to Build a 105 Thunder Chiefs Oh yeah, we're coming to you from the AM It is 12.20 So I have 23 hours and 40 minutes to get my last video out. I think I'll make it three more today. I can just cruise and take naps and get that. <laughs> okay, listen up everybody. We gotta crank you down here to where you can listen. Now there's been some talk about this flap dilemma. You know what I said, you know, and I'm I got them done, and this is the way I'm going to do it, you know, look at that, bam, quick and easy, and, uh, you know, I don't want to spend a long time on this first one, it's just a prototype, let's get her done, look at that, that just works so good, bam, took some of y'all's advice, pinned the back, I'm going to put a couple hinges in front. I got this big old pin here, it was a threaded pin, and I tapped that wood, it's three quarters of an inch right there. I tapped that, screwed that in there, drilled me a hole right there, all from my jig. I got one hinge there, but I'm going to put another one. I wanted to go over some hinges with you guys. Okay. Now I know most people that build jets know how to do this okay but I've seen some jets that wasn't and uh, there is people hinging these things wrong okay you do never under any circumstance take a round hinge and put that hinge out there okay what you want to do is you find your center your equal distance in all them places BAM that is your hinge point okay that's where that pin needs to be way inside there okay that's how you get that full rotation you see how that rotates and it, it stays there at the same thickness okay that's what we're trying to do here that's the purpose of that gapless hinge now you see on this end here I got that countersunk in there, and it's 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 kind of deep too, you know. Look at that center; it's you know it's down there, quarter inch, and uh, that's where it needs to be. Okay, now say if you're putting a bunch of hinges in there, how do you line up them hinge lines? Well, I tell you, I like to glue my back hinge. I'll glue these one at a time, and, I, and I'll glue my other hinge, okay, and I'll let them two set up. Then I could drill my others, and I'll get them all cut to fit, and then you put them on a flat surface, bam, and leave them hinges all sticking straight down, and you can just line them up like that. And now, okay, some of these big fat flaps like this, Man, there's only that much going into the other part. You know, but you can still use these hinges. Let me show you a little trick. You can do it with with a brass tubing too, or some carbon rod. You know, arrow shafts you get at Walmart, carbon tubes you get at the hobby store. Bam, drill them out a little bit so they fit a little better. Bam! And it's also makes it not so flexible when you're going in such a deep cavity so you can make that as long as you want you know and uh, that keeps it from being so floppy and you could still use a hinge on a situation like that the reason I couldn't is because I would not be able to get them in because of this angle right here I can't go straight in that's why I had to pin this in I like this idea it's simple three hinges bam and it works fantastic man I mean come on look at that that is flawless operation simple 
keep it simple. Okay, there's the top. Can you guys see that? There we go. Nice gapless hinge. See? See how far that's traveling? You see how far? You know why that's traveling that far? You know, look at that. Now look at that deflection. You know why that's traveling so far? Because that's hinged correctly. <laughs> no, I've seen some, a lot of guys mess them hinges up, and it's really not that difficult, you know. Now on this one here, I'm going to go ahead and put this other one in. How much time we got left? Four minutes. Okay, I already got wood inside here where these hinges go, okay? We know that. Let's put this one back in. We just got to mark where this hole is. Bam, okay. Cool over here. You guys are going to have to hold on. Okay. Now, this can be done with two little bits. I think. Line up for. Okay, when you start out with a smaller bit, always better to start out with a smaller bit. Good dog crooked, you gotta get straightened back out. My hinge size bit. Oh, drill's gonna die. Kind of pinch the side of your flat. That way you can tell if your drill bit's getting close to coming out. Okay, now this is the trick here. Take a bigger bit. Cause you gotta clear out a place for that big old knuckle. That big old knuckle right there. Now this is how I do it. You put it down. And you wanna make a trench right on top of your hole. Okay? Like that. Bam. Actually we don't need to go up so much as down. More straight across on an apron. Okay, now we got to clear it out that little bit of cavity for that knuckle. You gotta drill into it that way a little bit. Use your hole there for a guide. Kind of drill into it a little bit. That bit will fit perfect. Watch. Come on. What is that? He's gonna mean. Uh oh, we're running out of time. 26 seconds. Oh, let's try it in it.
Three, two, one, bam, man.